The 19 former employees of the Erindi Private Game Reserve were dismissed two months ago and are still camping outside the farm's main gate. This time, they marched to the gate to hand over a petition to Alejandro Belarius, who, according to information, flew onto the farm two days ago. However, the farm's general manager, Paul Joubert, came out to represent the farm owner's son. We asked for Master Belarius to come and receive the petition on behalf of the company. Um, today, Mr. Belarius is not here. Uh, they sent a delegation to come and... Uh, and, and take the petition on, on his behalf. On the 8th of uh, March, we did the same. We gave a petition uh, to management. Uh, it was not uh, responded. Uh, having that in mind, we cannot give the petition again to the management. Uh, we pleading for the indulgence of the management to inform Master Pilares to come and receive the, the petition on behalf of uh, the, the company. But the dismissed employees refused to give their petition to Joubert, citing that he is the same person who dismissed them from the farm. Joubert, who came accompanied by the farm manager, Ruan Clute, will not comment on the employee's refusal to give him the petition. The former RD employees say they were unfairly dismissed after they demanded for employment contracts in vowed to came outside until their demands are met. They are demanding that their dismissal be withdrawn and classified as unfair dismissal, be paid loss of income since the date of dismissal, their severance pay, and overtime payments. The employees are also demanding for Erindi's farm's working conditions to be aligned with the Labor Act. Evelyn Poles, NBC News, Erindi Private Game Reserve.